Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to start looking at um, materials and textures. All right, so uh, if you just open yourself up a new project, because before we start adding any materials to our existing models, we're just going to um, just learn the fundamentals just on some primitive shapes. So I'm just going to create a box. Um, I'll just center that. That's fine. Turn on our edged faces as normal. Okay, that's fine. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to come up to this icon up here. Um, now your icon might look a bit different. So if I just click it, sorry, mine's on the other screen, then it might open like that. Basically, there's two different modes. So if it's in the compact version, which looks like that, the icon will look like this. Okay. So whatever version it's in by default, the icons can look different. So it's going to be one of them anyway. Okay, the one we want to be in is this slate material editor. So make sure we've got that one selected. Um, all right, so for our box there, we want to create a material. So I'm going to create, uh, this is all our materials here. I'm going to create a standard material. So I'm just going to drag in standard. Okay, so we've got a material here and we've got all these different things that we can uh, add to edit it. So if you double click it, then you get more details down the side here as well. So if I just wanted to change the color, um, I can click this where it says diffuse. That's like the main overall color of the material. Change it to whatever color I wanted. And up here, assign material to selection. So that is selected. So if I click assign material to selection, this assigns that material. Okay, and then I could you know, I could go into diffuse again, change it to whatever color you wanted. So that's if you just wanted a base color. But what if we want an actual material? You know, you want it to look like bricks or something. Well, what I would suggest using, I'm going to drag it in here, this website. So before we start creating our own materials, often when it's something that kind of exists in the real world, like wood or brick or grass, or whatever, then um, generally access you know someone's already created it so there's no point in just creating it ourselves um, unless we want to customize it so this website's a good one so it's cc0textures.com if you go to that um, find something to use as an example first of all um, you can search for stuff uh, whatever you want so I've got this wood texture here just click it um, then you'll have lots of options so you've got a 2k 4k or 8k uh, 4k and 8k is just going to be too much it's going to take up way too much space and it's going to make rendering time much slower um, there's more to process so you just need to use 2k um, generally you're going to use jpeg um, unless the texture has some transparency in it so some bits that are see-through then you need to use png otherwise use jpeg all right I'll click it to download it when you've done that um, i'm going to i downloaded what downloaded one earlier on desktop uh, textures lesson um, you'll get some images like these here okay so you've got some black and white versions um, colored one and generally you get this sort of bluey purpley one as well now um, the colored one obviously is if I double click it the main one that we want to use that's what our texture is going to look like that's the one I've chosen anyway so that is the one that we want to plug into the diffuse color rather than just having you know the one standard color so if i click and drag out of there um, what i want to use is general and then bitmap okay find your folder where you saved it to and load in the colored version okay and then you'll see it update here okay so the thing is now, if I look at my box, it doesn't have the material on it. Well, it does have the material on, but we can't see it. So all we need to do is up here, there's a button that says show shaded material in the viewport. So click that. This will go like half red and green. That means it's done properly. And then you look at your object and it has our material on it. Okay, grand. All right, if I had two materials, let's say I just had another one over here. And this one, double click that one, is just going to be, I don't know, green. Okay. 
if you just wanted to say this surface to have bricks on and this just have a color on for some reason, what you can do is make sure it's an editable poly, select the individual polygon you want to change, select your material and then assign to selection. And then I can see that just that particular polygon has that material on. Okay. But let's go back to our main material up here. Now, if I zoom into this material, um, what I'm going to do actually to, in order to show you better, I'm going to put a couple of lights in. So just use our standard lights that we've been using before. An omnidirectional light can act as the sun. Make sure shadows are on. And the skylight just to give some grounded shadows. Turn the shadows on again and changes to high quality. And zoom right in. So we can see our, our material here. Um, but what we want to do next is apply um, something that's called a, a bump map, okay, in this bump channel. And these ones that are black and white are generally related to that. Um, and we've got one there that's called roughness. Okay, sometimes they're worded differently because it might be um, another different piece of software, for example, might call it roughness instead of bump, but um, that's fine. So get to bump, general bitmap as we did before, and select the one that's called roughness and open that. Okay, now I'm just going to move this to off screen for a second. At the moment, you won't see really any difference there, okay, to the material, but what I'm going to be doing is um, with bump here, if you go to maps, you'll see the level that you can sort of change that to. So at the moment, it's 30, but we can crank that value up so that the effect is higher. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to do it off screen, but I'm going to change it from like 200 to like 10, and you can see the, the difference that it's making. So at the moment it's on 30, I'm going to change it to 10, and now I'm going to change it to 200. And you should be able to see the difference. Okay, let's, am I on the right one? No, I've got the wrong material selected, that's why I've still got that one selected. So let's double click this one again. So let's try that again, go to maps, go to bump. Okay, so what I had there, I had this one selected. So I've got the right one selected now. I'm gonna go to bump. All right, let's start on 10. All right, now if I jump to 200, did you see that? So sometimes you know you have to wait for the lighting to calculate itself. So it's just doing that now. So if you keep an eye on what it looks like now, I'll change it back to 10 again. And see all that detailing is gone. All right, so that's the effect that you can have with this bump. And I'm going to put it up to about 100. Um, that should be fine for now. Okay, but there's some other materials that we've got here. We've got this one called ambient occlusion. So you see there's one called ambient color. So We'll just drag out of there. Same thing, just general bitmap. Going to add the ambient one. That's great. Um, what else do we have? Displacement. Okay, we can see we've got a displacement channel here. So plug that one into displacement. Okay, um, depending on what material you've downloaded, you might also have other ones. So you might have like specular, for example. Um, so in which case, just plug those in what's relevant to your material. Okay, just going to close that down for now. Um, <clears throat> and there we have our material. So sometimes it takes a while to work itself out with the lighting. 
but I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so just for now, that's all I really want you guys to sort of play around with. Um, it's just creating those textures. Um, so it's gone way down here. Um, and yeah, just, just playing around with it, adding textures onto different shapes and things, um, just so that you get a feel for actually creating them and applying them. I'm gonna make sure this is applied to this whole box. Don't like that green. Okay. Close that down. Okay, so just try that for now. Get a feel for how that works. Maybe um, from the site here, you could try a couple of different ones. Try like a wooden one, uh, bricks. Um, what else have we got? Uh, stone, uh, metal. Okay, um, and then when you're happy with that, you'll be ready to move on to the next video. Okay.